the unveiling of this statue today is not just a celebration of an extraordinary event 50 years ago, but also, I believe, a great event in the relationship between the UK and Russia, and between our cultural and our scientific institutions that we have together fostered over very many years. We're actually standing in the private view, and this is the first time in Britain most people will ever have seen some of the objects that we've got here. I mean, right behind me, we've got the space suit. Not that Gagarin himself went up in, because that's now a precious icon, but almost exactly the same, of the same date. He's sitting in the seat that he went up in, and when he re-entered the Earth, he parachuted out in that seat at seven kilometres above Earth's level. So, I mean, it was a fantastically dangerous thing to do. This has just been the best day of my life, absolutely fantastic. It, it was great to see uh, a, a whole barrage of press this morning outside the British Council in London. And it was just a fantastic moment. There was a great sense of movement, a sense of friendship, a sense of warmth. The exhibition is here because we brought a statue of Gagarin to celebrate the 50th anniversary. And we wanted to tell the story. And it's a story of risk and sacrifice, danger and a degree of glamour because he went up into orbit, a completely unknown young boy of 27. He was up in orbit for 108 minutes, travelling at 28,000 kilometres an hour and came back the most famous man on Earth. When you go first, uh, people forget that uh, there was serious doubt if a human would be able to even survive in space. I've known Yuri Gagarin's daughter for 20 odd years, but professionally as a museum curator, I first met her when she was at the Pushkin. She's never ever talked to me about her father. She's always projected herself as a professional art historian and I've never wanted to talk to her about it. Um, but she became director of the Kremlin Museums 10 years ago. We are friends with the British Council for a long time and I know Andrea. It seems to me that a year ago this idea came to her and uh, she began to think how to organize all that. And uh, it's not only the statue, but the exhibition at the British Council and a wonderful book. Having the statue in London is a symbolic meaning of uh, friendship and very good relations between our people. He never sat at home watching TV or reading newspapers. He liked uh, going in for sports. He was studying a lot. He was meeting people, he was organizing something all the time, and uh, this was his time of having rest. My favorite moment wasn't today. My favorite moment was two days ago, when the plinth was there, and they actually brought the statue, which you know I've been thinking about for 12 months, and they lifted it onto the pedestal, and it looked far more beautiful than I had anticipated. I always knew it would have impact, and it would look rather shocking in London. But it looked wonderful, and, and then they wrapped it up, but I felt terribly emotional. I think I shed a tear. We also have a range of activities in the arts uh, that are focused around the creative industry, so we're working in fashion, we're working in design, we're working with young creative entrepreneurs on a whole range of projects that, that you'll see coming to fruition over the next 18 months to two years. Убежден, что открытие памятника в Лондоне, который Юрий Гагарин посетил полвека назад, послужит укреплению дружбы и сотрудничества между народами России и Великобритании. А новые поколения исследователей и специалистов наших стран достойно продолжат традиции своих предшественников. Желаю вам всего самого доброго, президент России Дмитрий Медведев. But for sure we will go beyond Earth orbit, going to Moon, uh, Mars, asteroids maybe.